Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to paint better still life paintings. So tip number one is to have your still life already set up. So if I were painting a lemon, I could have it set up and paint directly from the lemon. Uh, it's also a good idea to take a photo of it in case anything changes with the lighting or if this lemon rolled away or something like that so that you can have a photo as a backup. Next, you want to map out your painting with a colored piece of chalk. I like using chalk because you can rub it off afterwards. You can paint over it and it's easily covered up. Whereas if you're using a pencil that can scratch the surface of a canvas, it can damage the canvas and it can be a little bit harder to cover up, especially if you're painting with light colors. So the next tip is to exaggerate the highlights and shadows. When you're painting, it's always good to sort of exaggerate where the light hits it. So you can even set up like a lamp um, or this flashlight. So you can see that the area closest to the light is going to be brighter. So that's our highlight. And the area away down here on the table, that's going to be the shadow sort of at the base of our lemon. So when you're setting up your still life, you can consider having like a table lamp or some kind of candle or maybe setting it near the window by the sun just so that you can sort of visually see those shadows or highlights. And that's kind of what makes a painting and a photograph a bit different is that a painting you can change things about the photo and one of those things that you can change is how you choose to exaggerate the highlights or the shadows. The next tip is to paint in the direction of the object. So if you're painting a curved object like this lemon, and you can check out my lemon painting tutorial or my painting eggs tutorial that I've linked in the description, but you want to be making sure that you're painting in the direction. So if I paint it all straight across, nice and flat, then that's going to make my lemon look flat. But if I paint with curved lines, then that's gonna help my lemon look round and look more three-dimensional, which is what we want. The last tip is to paint in layers and make sure you're taking your time. With acrylic painting, you want to wait in between while the layers are drying before you apply a new layer of paint. You can also work with different layers. So you can add a background layer, then you can add your mid-tones, then you can add your highlights on top of that. And then you can add the details like the specks on the lemon or any kind of blemishes or bruises that the lemon might have. So that's why painting in layers is important because it just helps to make your still life painting more realistic. So again, the five tips are to have your still life set up while you're painting and to take a photo, to map out your painting in chalk so that you know what you're going to paint, to exaggerate your highlights and shadows, to paint in the direction of the object, and lastly, to paint in layers and make sure you're taking your time. If you like this video, make sure to like it and to subscribe to my channel. Comment below with any other tips that you would like to hear about acrylic painting. Thanks for watching, happy painting.